Look at that dog, so cute! Let's check what they have. What a beautiful day! Finally, we came back to Tokyo. Today, I'm at Shinbashi Station. We are heading to Odaiba. There are so many new things there, so we will explore the town. And on the way, we will stop by Konbini and pick random onigiris. Yes, new onigiris too. Sounds like fun, right? So, let's go. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan, say the go. All right, so let's keep walking, let's go. So we will use Yuri Kamome line to go to Odaiba. Well, this train's like a roller coaster. <laughs> Maybe not, but uh, for kids, it's enjoyable train. Anyway, let me show you guys. Yuri Kamome, compared to other train, the fare price is more expensive. I think about 1.5 times to twice. I'm not sure, but uh, basically going to Odaiba train are pretty expensive, so yeah, you have no choice. Well, technically you can walk to Odaiba, however, it will take about an hour from here to Odaiba. I think so, so yeah, if you have time, you can do that, you can save money and it's good for your health, but uh, yeah, if you are when I see and walking around in Odaiba, probably not that good idea. By the way, that place called QB House. That's a haircut place. You can cut your hair with 1,000 Japanese yen. Only 10 minutes just cut. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't know that they increased the price. 1,200 Japanese yen. I think it's still cheap though. Well, here is a Japan living tip. They cost only 1,200 Japanese yen. However, they will only give you 10 minutes. If you spend longer than 10 minutes, they will stop cut your hair. So before you go in there, make sure you know what kind of hair you want to get. And make sure get some hair that they can make it in 10 minutes. Yeah, you know, it's cheap, but uh, there is a limit as well. Anyway. So let's keep walking. Let's go. Look at those glasses. Beautiful. Sakura, Mount Fuji, and the birds. And here we go. We will use this train. When you use this train, you want to sit down in front because there is a seat that you can see in front. Oh, lucky. Now, we have a nice seat. Let's sit down. Well, usually this seat is taken, so you have to wait for the next train. But today, we are lucky. Uh, probably after the travelers came back to Japan. Yeah, this will never happen, so maybe my last lucky. <laughs> Only this station called Daiba, but most of Japanese call this place Odaiba. Yeah, this is Daiba station, but this is Odaiba Kaihin Koen. Those are the same name Daiba, but this one has O, this one doesn't. Usually people use O for the polite words, but uh, I don't know. Hmm. If you know the reason why this place called Daiba and this one called Odaiba, please let me know in the comment down below. Anyway, we arrived to Daiba Station. Odaiba Station. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, seems like now Akua City had the Ramen Museum. I've never been there yet, so maybe I should. But today, you know, it's an Onigiri walk, so. Not today. Let's keep walking. Oh my goodness, look at this gadget phone. It's so cute. Have you seen this before? It's a really popular chocolate biscuit in Japan called Kora no Machi. And this one is the magnet for refrigerator. Cool. <laughs> and next to it, there is a old cafe. Pinbachis. Hmm. 
nice. Oh, this will be something new next time when you visit Japan. Recently, there are so many places that you can rent the mobile batteries. It is really simple to rent. You have to register the credit card before, but it is really useful. Price is 330 Japanese yen for a day. And uh, there are codes that can fit into iPhone, Android, and uh, many other cell phones. So the next time your battery is out, here you go. This is the place that you want to come. It's really useful, and in most of the company, you can find them, so... Yeah. Travel team. By the way, it's a bit windy here. And here we go. We arrived to Odaiba. This is one of the most iconic place of Odaiba. There is a symbol, Statue of Liberty, and the Rainbow Bridge. Sweet! By the way, this is the hottest part. There is an Aqua City sign and a Statue of Liberty, Rainbow Bridge. You can pretty much see everywhere. Well, definitely I was expecting more people here because last time when I visited Odaiba on the weekend, it was so packed. Today, it's Tuesday, 21st May 2022. There's people. <laughs> From the next week, Japan will open to travelers too, so <laughs> probably this is the last time you will see Odaiba like a ghost town. I believe so. And here, it's Statue of Liberty in Odaiba. I've never seen the real one in New York. Hope one day I can see the real one. Oh, that's a school trip. Due to the pandemic, school trip were cancelled, but now they have a school trip. That's how the situation changes in Japan. Hey, did you guys know that we can go to that island over there? It's a bit far. That place was Olympic place, so it was closed and we had no access to that island park. But now we can. So today, I'm planning to visit there. Well, during the live stream that I made from Odaiba, I found out that we can go to that park, but uh, <laughs> it will take a long time to get there because we can't cut the footage, but in the edited video, we can go there really quick. But beforehand, let's go to Konbini to find the onigiri. Yeah, I'm starving, so let's go to eat. Let's go. Oh, I found Lawson over there. Let's stop by. All right, let's get some onigiri. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a Ludo Farm style onigiri. Interesting, I've never seen this. Let's do it. And also, this one, fried chicken with black pepper, garlic, and mayonnaise. With chicken, it must be pretty good. Let's do it, this one too. Well, we still have to walk a lot, so not the time for beer. Uh, let me get the water. Yep. Inside the company, there are microwaves. So if you buy a bento, you can make it work. So let's go. Today, plenty of seats are available. Let's take a seat over there. Oh wait, I just realized. Uh, maybe I can place the camera over here. Yeah, I think that would be much easier. So this is the stuff that I bought. Water and uh, Ludo Farm. This one is 160 Japanese yen. Water is 108 Japanese yen. And uh, Black Pepper Chicken Mayo. This one is 160 Japanese yen. Wow, those onigiris get expensive. Yeah, special onigiri, so maybe that's the reason why. Makes sense. Oh, by the way, speaking of the temperature, today it's 26 degrees. Yes, the last week it was really cold, but feels like finally summer is coming to Japan too. Yep, as you realize, I'm wearing white t-shirts. Yep, my favorite t-shirts. And in hot summer day, cold water is the best. Ah, psycho. <laughs> Could be cold beer too, though. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so let's eat it. 
Let me try this Ludo Fan Onigiri first. It's my first time to try that. Seems like there is a coin egg inside. It must be good. So let's do it. Itadakimasu. So this is how it looks like. Hmm. Smells pretty good too. Smells like really nice soy sauce flavor. Itadakimasu. Mechoujou. Well, I've never had the real Ludo Fang. So, I can't really compare, but uh, really nice soy sauce based on Yuri. And I just realized that I was like, where is the egg? Where is the egg? And um, yep, yeah, I found this tiny small egg. Well, you know, it's a coal egg, so it's supposed to be small, like this. I just didn't reach it. Yeah. I love coal egg. Oh, speaking of my last video. There was a funny comment by the Emmanuel. This. <laughs> I totally didn't realize it. If you find something funny, please let me know. I will share it on my Twitter account or I might pin you comment. So please don't forget to comment on my video if you find some funny moment. Arigato. Oh, and also we have a Discord community too. So if you haven't, please check that. Anyway, so let's eat the next one. Fried chicken, black pepper, garlic, and mayonnaise. <laughs> wow, that's a long name. So this is like a regular onigiri. Let me show you guys how to cleanly open. First, you just pull it and make sure to pull it up until here. That's the important thing. If you don't, you might mess it up and pull it slowly, gently. And the left side as well. Ta -da! How simple is that? <laughs> Maybe already you are good at it. But, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I always break the seaweeds. Now I don't. I get older with skill. <laughs> Never mind. So let's eat. Itadakimasu. Hmm. That's the same with other onigiris. First bite, I couldn't reach to the main part. Oh. For me, this one is better than Lulo Fan Onigiri one. It has a strong mayonnaise flavor with black pepper. And it's like a teriyaki chicken style. Really nice mayonnaise flavor, black pepper, and teriyaki chicken with rice. Who doesn't like it? <laughs> mm. Price was a little bit expensive, but it worth it. Oh. Alright, now it's time to visit the island park. Seems a little bit far, but don't worry about it. It's an edited video, so we can jump. Not like that, but let's keep walking. <laughs> let's go. The park is over there. But we have to walk all the way down. Let me time it with the watch. Oh, sweet. I found the trash can. By the way, here's a small advice for you. Japan travel tip. Whenever you find a trash can, make sure to trash it. Otherwise, it's really hard to find a trash can in Japan. What a beautiful day. So many people taking a photo at the beach. Nice man-made beach, isn't it? Wait, is this the man-made? Maybe not. Oh, a little bit bad news here. Japan travel tip. To be honest, Odaiba displaced water is not that clean. It gets much better due to the Olympic, but uh, not that clean. <laughs> so you gotta be careful if you want to swim here. In front of the beach, there is a restroom. For the restroom, you don't have to worry about it. Look at those apartments. It's right in front of ocean. Must be really good living there. Oh my goodness, look at the dog, so cute. <laughs> a little bit scary 
<laughs> so cute. Oh. oh my goodness, it's so shiny. I think I need to get my sunglasses. I don't have one, but uh, I'm not sure what kind of style it will fit on me. So, I don't know. If you have any suggestion, let me know, comment down below. But I think before the summer, I definitely should get one for my eyes. Yeah, it's better. And finally, it's almost there. Let's keep walking. Oh, interesting. In front of the beach, there is a smoking area. In Japan, you can only smoke in permitted place. If you don't follow the rule, you have to pay fine. So, you have to be careful when you visit Japan, especially in a big city. Oh my goodness, this place is beautiful. And... Look at that! That's where we were! Sweet! And here we go, finally! We arrived to the entrance! Sweet! Okay, so let me tell you how long it will take. Take a guess, how long? The answer is... 23 minutes. Well, I've been shooting videos, so it took time longer than usual, but uh, I believe we will take about 15 to 20 minutes walking from there to here, so yeah, that's the answer. But uh, it's a nice hike though. Okay, so let's explore the hidden park in Odaiba. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Okay, so what do we have? Ah, that's a nice area. Oh my goodness, can't believe this is in the middle of Tokyo. Wow. It's a perfect place to take a hike. And if you walk to the other side, You can see the beautiful Odaiba city. Can you see that tiny statue over there? Yes, that statue of liberty in Odaiba. <laughs> Sweet! I love this place. Oh, here. This one used to be a huge cannon over here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There is someone playing guitar over there. I can't recognize if he or she, but uh, must feel pretty good. It's a perfect place to practice, huh? And there is another island over there. But seems like we can't enter there. And we can have an even closer look of the Rainbow Bridge. Hey, did you guys know that we can walk that bridge over there? I have made a video. If you haven't, please check that. <laughs> Just took the photo for the Instagram and also Instagram live update story. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account too. Arigato. Oh, okay. Now, going down. Oh, do not enter. The spider net as well. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to enter. <laughs> well, I love the adventure, but I don't want to break the roll. So, yeah, let's keep walking. <laughs> oh, and we came back here. Nice. So before leaving this place, let me give you guys a history lesson. As you guys know, Japan was closed country for a very long time, about 200 years ago in the Edo period. So how Japan opens? There is a lot of histories, but one of the reasons is that Kurofune came to Japan. Kurofune literally translation is a black ship. That black ship came from United States and they said, hey, Japan, it's time to open. And when the black ship come to Japan, 
Japan try to fight with them and put the cannon beside the sea. That's the place. I didn't know that until come over here. Seems like really historical place. Loving it. Ooh, that was a nice park. Now let's go back to Odaiba and then let me show you guys something new. I have to walk another 25 minutes, but since it's an edited video, let's jump to there. All right, we're getting back here. You see that park? Yeah, it's really far. Anyway, uh, next, there's a family mart over there. So let's grab something to eat. Let's keep walking. But from here, I'd better wear a mask. In Japan, yes, still, a lot of places you need to wear a mask. So, if you're visiting Japan, don't forget to bring the mask. Otherwise, you can't enter many places. So, let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a corn mayonnaise sushi. I'm not sure we can consider it onigiri or not. But it looks pretty good. Why not? Let's do this. By the way, those tempura and mentaiko onigiri looks pretty good too. Oh really? Look at that. They have wine by can now. Interesting. Price is 550 Japanese yen. Oh look at that. Now they have a new cream puff. Toropechendu. Toropechendu. I don't know what kind of language it is, but uh, oh, it's French? South France. Hmm, interesting. Why not? Let's try this. All right, we can place the camel over there. So let's eat. Ooh, all right, here we go. The first onigiri I got is corn mayonnaise sushi. Actually, this is not onigiri, it says sushi, but let me see. Corn and the mayonnaise, always good, so pretty sure this one is good as well. The price is 118 Japanese yen. Compared to previous onigiri, it's cheaper. How about the taste? So this is how it looks like. Well, by the appearance, it's not that good, but how about the taste? Itadakimasu. There are corns and mayonnaise, and uh, as it says sushi, the rice is vinegar rice. The vinegar rice sourness perfectly matches with corn and mayonnaise. Loving it. And this is the new family mart sweets. Torope Jennu. Orange peel ili. Torope Jennu to a Minami France Mare no Teban no sweets. Torope Jennu is a really popular sweet in South France. Is it true? <laughs> Oh, if you were from France, let me know in the comment below. <laughs> How about the taste? So, is this like a pancake? Let me see. Yeah, smells really sweet. Itadakimasu. Mmm, the So, the pancakes are really fluffy, and there is a custard cream with orange flavor. On top, I think that's a sugar. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, this one is the pancake with custard. Loving it. So, if you love cream puff, probably you will love this too. Loving it. So now we are heading to the Venus Ford. In front of you, you see that huge grande. They are building the new arena, which is like a huge stadium. Yeah, Odaiba will be totally changed. I'm so excited. Oh, this is something new in Odaiba too. Well, it's been here for a while, but probably the last time when you visit Odaiba, before the pandemic, this Tokyo sign wasn't here. It's a perfect fall spot, isn't it? With the Paris wheel. Well, sadly, that Venus Ford is closed now, but uh, that Ferris wheel is still working. This place will be a huge stadium. Let's go to check how the entrance looks like now. So here, it's a pallet town. 
Venus 4 had 23 years history but uh, now it's closed so the next time when you visit Tokyo unfortunately you can't enter the Venus 4 anymore oh so the entrance is valuated and the uh, escalators as well oh I see so that's how it looks like right now this place used to be nice music and so many stores and the fast food restaurants but it's closed and uh, mega web Toyota cars gallery showcases are gone as well well as you guys know Odaiba is my favorite place yes actually I want to live in Odaiba and I've been here so many times during the live stream so I really miss this place hmm looking forward to what we have in the future yeah so let's forget about the past that's how we enjoy the life right let's keep walking <laughs> let's go I didn't realize that there is a small Japanese garden nice oh what a pity no one is using that amazing swing yes we are almost at the Gundam place but beforehand let me show you guys something new here yep that's something new over here well this place was Olympic Stadium before but now it became a parking as you can see, we have such a huge parking in front of the diverse city. Well, if you're coming over to Odaiba by a car, now you have many spots. <laughs> it's not free though. Uh, before visiting Gundam, we haven't visited the 7-Eleven yet. Actually, there is a 7-Eleven over there. I don't feel like I want to eat the onigiri, so instead, uh, let me introduce my favorite drink at 7-Eleven. It's amazing. Oh, by the way, here, uh, something artistic. Something artistic from the Unko Museum. Yeah, direct translation is Poop Museum. Probably you could guess. <laughs> Never mind. And the 7 Eleven is in the diversity. Hope they have it though. Most of the 7-Eleven have it, so this place have it as well. Here we go. Yes, those smoothie. Wait. Wow, they have a half price pasta. Those are half price. But uh, I don't think I can bring it back because it's a frozen food, so forget about it. Let me get the blueberry yogurt. Yep, this one is amazing. By the way, this is the mobile battery stand that I was talking about. You can rent the battery here. This is how it works. First, you can buy the drink, which is 300 Japanese yen. And you can press here. Oh, wait. The first way I have to scan the barcode. And uh, there's an explanation. Actually, there are real fruits inside and uh, you can place it over here and just leave it oh i have to place it okay totally forgot okay never mind and push it it's ready to cook And just like that, now you have a smoothie, sweet, it's ready to go. Well, it's made by real fruits and it tastes pretty good, so loving it. I think 300 Japanese yen, worth it. Oh, interesting. Now they have a new Don Quixote, Kira Kira Donkey. Oh, let's check what they have. They have Haribo and also 
the Korean snacks. And those are the American snacks. Also, they have so many Japanese snacks as well. The cheap sweets. <laughs> I miss those cheap sweets. The other side as well. Nice. So, this one is interesting. Monk's Farfalina. Never seen this before. And um, those sweets. I've never seen this before, neither. Have you seen your country's snack here? Hmm. <laughs> yum yum. Where is the Indomie? <laughs> Indomie here. Loving it. Don Quixote, always entertaining. And we arrived to the food court. Do you remember this place? Yeah. While I was making the live stream, I was kicked out. Anyway, let's go out and let's go to the Gundam place. Yep. After get up from this gate, there is a Gundam unicorn. <laughs> Whenever I see him, I feel the same. It's huge. Yes, from the next month, finally Japan open for travelers. I've been waiting for this for a really long time and so excited as well. Hopefully, you guys could see what's new in Odaiba so that next time when you visit here, you know where to go. Well, again, before, because of the Olympic, that place we couldn't enter, but now we can. It's a perfect place to take a rest and a hike, so yeah, if you have time, Maybe you can visit there. I think so. <laughs> All right. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video. Big thank you to all of the Patreons because of you guys' support. I can keep traveling. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account and give me one second. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel too. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy to join the adventure. It's fun and tasty. <laughs> Alright, anyway, hope you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video. So, see you in the next video. Say it go! <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Oh, again, please comment down below. Arigato. Let's keep working. Let's go. <laughs> see you in the next video.